All right, quick video on how to change motor mounts on a Chevy Equinox. First things first, you wanna jack up the engine, just lightly support the engine with some wood jack on the oil pan. Okay, so it's lightly supported. All right, coming back up here, first things first, there's a bolt right here. We gotta remove the air box. So there's a bolt right here. Loosen that up. It's a 10 millimeter and it's very, very long. Take it out. All right. Now, loosen up these hose clamps right here, okay? Once these hose clamps are loose, you wanna unbolt uh, the air box. There's like a little clip right here. And then over here, there's another clip. All right, now up here, you pull the hose back. You lift this whole thing up and away. And you can even move this out of the way and you can remove this whole plastic piece, get rid of it. The bottom part right here where the cabin air filter is, it's also a good time to change your cabin air filter if you haven't done so in a while. Uh, you just lift up and that way. So you're gonna lift up and that way and it's out. All right, so now we can see our motor mount right here. This is our motor mount. It's held on right here by 18 millimeter um, uh, nuts and held on by 15 millimeter bolts up top. So I've already got the nuts loosened beforehand, but I'll show you. Loosen these up. take these out now essential our engine is supported on the bottom with our jack because if you don't support it this whole thing will fall and you'll see the engine shift good thing it was supported all right take these out And voila, there's your engine mount, all taken out. And for installation, it's going to be the opposite. You just put your, let's say this is your new engine mount. You put this back on. You bolt up these 15 millimeters. You got to line them up first. So your engine may or may not be lined up. So what you can do is jack it back up. So you can see that the bolt holes are lined up and now they're lined up and you just i'm just going to demonstrate bolt them back you put the nuts back on you put the bottom air box piece back on you put the top air box piece back on hook it up to the to the hose and that's it you're done last step you're gonna let your jack down slowly and your engine will be supported by the engine mount